All right, this is a 2008 Mazda 3. It's been in the family since it was new. So 14 years, Def several different drivers. Now it's more or less my beater to get back and forth to work. Um, might as well keep on putting miles on this while it's still going. Anyway, one of the things with Mazda 3s is the headlights. And it takes H7s, and this thing seems to eat them. Seems like we go through them every year or two. So I got a couple tips on replacing your headlights. Uh, the one tip is that you'll see a lot of times they'll say to replace them in pairs. One blows out, you should replace the other. Well, the opposite of that is that uh, I had them both blow out within 30 minutes of each other once about five years ago when I was 20 minutes from home. So I pissed off a lot of people for the last 20 minutes running with my high beams on. And um, anyway, so I don't do that anymore. I just replace them when they blow out. The other thing is, and there's a lot of videos here tell you how to do this. And, and um, it's fairly simple to paint the neck. You know, you, there's, there it is. You, you have pulled the end off here, which is no big deal. And you got the prongs there. You got a rubber boot right here. You pull that off. You'll reach inside. There's a spring clip. Push on that and press it up, I believe. And it'll swing out of the way. And then you just do the opposite to put it back in. And it's... You know, the one thing I want to say is you should clean off the ends, the tips there. But the one thing that they're missing, I haven't seen this, is, and you notice this little blue dot that I have right here? That's basically in line with the way the bulb sits. Because you can't get that thing in unless that bulb's sitting flush inside the housing there. And when it is, you'll know it. It'll feel good. It'll feel flat in there. And the spring clip will close with no problem. So, before you do anything, see which way the bulb is, is, and it's probably about the same way as mine. And like I said, I put that little mark there, and that'll save you a lot of time. So, because um, it's hard to get that thing flush if you don't know the way it's supposed to be. So anyway, that's my tip. I'm not going to change it. I just did a little while ago, a few days ago. But um, there's a tip on the headlights. Hope it helps.